and welcome to our GLP walkthrough series. My name is Jason Lupke, and I'm a Global Solution Specialist with Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And today we're going to be talking about creating a new assessment inside of the GLP. So you can see here I'm inside of my Into Literature Grade 8 class, but this will work for any one of the programs that are found inside of the GLP. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to move down to the Create button that's found at the bottom of our screen here. And you can see when I move my mouse on top of that, that turns that, that word and, and puts a line under it that's green. When I click on that, it'll bring up a pop-up window. And I have lots of resources and, and tools that I can create from this pop-up window. But remember, today we're going to focus on assessments. And any one of these five options down here are assessments but I'm gonna use this assessment, okay? That'll bring me to my content creation screen. And right in here is where I'll, I'll create my content and it's a very easy to use tool. So I'm gonna give this a title and just for this example, we're gonna call this GLP walkthroughs. And I can choose the type of assessment tool that I would like to use here. So I could create my own question pool or self assessments and so on. We're gonna stick with assessment. If I choose to give this assessment a short title, that short title is what will show up in my table of contents. For now, we're gonna leave this as GLP walkthroughs and that's what'll show up in my table of contents. This instructor view only option will either show this to students or not. So if I click on this, it'll hide it from student view and students won't be able to take the assessment. Now, if I'm working ahead, I may wanna keep this hidden from students until I'm done with the assessment or until it's time to take that assessment. For now, I'll leave it unchecked. And you'll see that I have some options here in, in these different tabs. Right now, it defaults to question pools. And I can either use a question pool from uh, pools that have been created by HMH, or you could just move right into questions and create all of your own questions. So let's begin with a question pool in this case. And you can see I have a lot of different assessment options okay from unit tests to modules summative tests and um, lots of different options here okay and i'm going to go ahead and choose the marigolds selection test and that'll bring up a, a set of questions now i can go through and read all of these questions and i could choose individual questions by checking these boxes that i would like to add to my assessment or i could choose all of them let's start with that let's add all of those questions once I click insert and push through the pop-up window, I'll see that it's going to move me from question pools over to my questions tab. And then from there, I'm able to go through and edit any one of these questions. Let's just see what that looks like. So I click on this pencil icon. It pulls up my pop-up window where I edit or I could add a new question and that new question pop-up window will look just like this as well. My question is here and I can edit that from this field. Okay, you can see I have a rich text formatter up here. So when I'm adding new questions, I can add pictures or video, any of those tools that I would like. And then down here are my answer choices. And from here, if I'd like, I can eliminate answer choices by using this X button, or I can change my point values. In this case, this is a multiple answer. So you see I have two correct answers, right? But I can change the type of question if I would choose to. You can see a lot of these are auto graded, but I do have some manually graded options where you'll have to go in and assign the point values after your students take the, the assessments. Okay, so let's go ahead and save my edits that I made to this question. You'll see I can create a new question right here with this button, and that option will bring up this window that will look just like the editing window that we had pulled up a second ago. From here now, I can choose to eliminate questions. So if I decided that I don't like this question, I could check that box and remove it from my assessment. And when I'm done looking at and, and making changes to my questions, I can then move on to the settings tab. A few things in here that we should talk about. You can randomize your questions if you like, or show one question per page. So you have a lot of options in here, but something that I like to make sure that we point out is that if you want this to show up in your grade book or to show up in reports, you need to be sure to check those boxes. They don't default to being checked. Then I can move on to my instructions tab where I could type in instructions for my students. And again, you see that familiar rich text formatter there. And when I'm all done, 
I could preview, save, or cancel. Let's choose to save here. And then you'll see that that'll bring me to uh, my assessment where I'll see a list of my students and then I'm also able to take my test as a student. And you can see this shows up in my table of contents and I'm able to move that if I need to just by going back into my content creation screen. And when I'm ready for my students to take this, not only do I need to hit the start button, but I'm also going to have to hit the assign button, just like we've talked about when we looked at how to create assignments within the program. So here I am on my assessment. I click on the assign button and then I can have a start date and a due date, give instructions to my students. And then remember, we're able to assign that to all of my students, or I could individualize that by just checking some of these boxes here. When I'm ready to push that out to my students, I hit create, and then that go ahead, that, that, that starts the assignment for the students. So this was creating an assessment for your students. We'll see you next time on the GLP walkthrough series.